The second problem that we're going to do on this uh, handout is this one right here. So this one's a little messier looking and it's got a negative number in it. So I thought that would be a good one to show you as an example. All right, so if we use our shortcut rules, the first thing, well, actually the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the coefficients. So the coefficients you treat just as if you would if there were no um, variables there. So negative eight divided by two is equal to negative four. All right, now we need to take a look at the variables. So we've got x to the sixth power as the numerator and x to the third power as the denominator. So if we use our little shortcut rules, it's six minus three, and we have three left up on top, so x to the third power. With y to the second, we've got y to the second on the denominator also. So these two, two minus two gives us zero. So we don't have no y's left. So there's our answer, negative four x to the third power. So let's see what happens when we factor everything out. Okay, so we've got negative eight and then we've got negative eight times x times x times x times x times x times x six times. And then we've got y to the second power, y times y. And then that is over two times x to the third power, x times x times x and times y to the second power, y times y. All right, so we can cancel or make a giant one out of y and y, y and y, and then we can cancel or make a giant one out of x over x, x over x, and x over x. So on this, um, as the numerator, we have three x's left. Let's take a look at our coefficients. So negative eight divided by negative two, or another way of looking at it is how many times does two, two goes into two once, two goes into negative eight, negative four times. So we've got negative four up above, and we have one, two, three x's, so x to the third, and then down below, we just have one. But we don't usually leave uh, numbers like this because negative four x to the third divided by one is just negative four x to the third. So we got that answer using the method of factoring and we also got the same answer when we used our shortcuts.